create a road cross section, for example, you need the sub assemblies. And here I will start with the lane super elevation AOR. And if I don't know much about this sub assembly, again, I can right click and go to help. And I'll get a lot of help about this sub assembly. I can read much more about it here and its parameters just to understand more. Okay. Once I am through reading, I can click on it and add it. I can change the parameters here. can put it there okay we can change the parameters later um i am prompted to select marker within assembly i can just click on on that line and then then the the len uh, sub assembly is created on the on the right as is seen on this um, property palette. I can bring this pro property palette to the right and dock it there. It has disappeared, but if I want it back, I can just click here or I, I click on control one and you can change the size of the property palette. We've just added one subassembly. Probably we need another subassembly, something like a shoulder. We could add a shoulder. We go to the tool palettes. I can turn on and off the tool palettes from here or clicking on Control 3. I want to add a shoulder next to next to this um, lens. I click on shoulder and here I have a, a shoulder that I can use. Let me click on that. And I can add it. I can attach it here at the end of the of the lane. And I can click on the shoulder and edit the parameters. For example, I can change this shoulder width to 1.5 and if you're not sure about these parameters again you can go to help and try to figure out what are these parameters what am i really changing here you can see this is the shoulder width this is what i've changed i've shortened it from 2.4 meters to 1.5 meters daylight width is also here you can also decide to to change that Let's click on the shoulder again. Let's look for daylight width. And we can even change that to, to a meter, for example. All right. Once I'm OK with that, I can now uh, add another sub assembly. I will go to the basic tab here at the tool palettes. And I will select this basic side slope cut ditch. And I will put it there. Again, go to help to find out what this subassembly is all about. So this subassembly is, is used in both cut and field conditions. If you're in cut condition, it will create, will create a ditch. If you're in field condition, it will create a, a, a field slope to the target surface, the existing surface, for example. All right, and this will be the parameters of the four slope uh, of, of the ditch that will be created. It will have a bottom width of this width, a four slope width of this, back slope width of this, with these kinds of slopes. All right, I can change that if I want to and set up the kinds of slopes I want. 
For example, this fill slope, I can put it to three. For slope three, bottom of bottom width, I can change it to 0 0.5. Back slope to three. Okay. And once I'm okay with that, I will have set up my my, my sub assemblies and my assembly. Next, we'll see how to copy or mirror whatever we have created because we are replicating this on the other side. We'll see how to do that.